President Donald Trump returned to Washington on Wednesday amid increasing concerns over the coronavirus. Health officials in the U.S. warned Americans to prepare for a possible outbreak, and financial markets remained on edge. Trump on Tuesday, while traveling in India, tried to paint a rosier picture of where things stand. You may ask about the uh, coronavirus, which is um, you know, very well under control in our country. Misspelling the name of the virus, Trump tweeted on Wednesday that it was the news networks who were, quote, doing everything possible to make the coronavirus look as bad as possible, including panicking markets if possible. And that, quote, USA in great shape. You need to get your act together now. He also blasted Democrats who have questioned his administration's response. Trump is seeking $2.5 billion from Congress, but Democrats have warned that amount falls far short of what is needed. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Uh, puts forth a proposal now that is meager, anemic. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer on Wednesday called for $8.5 billion to prepare. We have enough face masks. And even some Republicans expressed frustration with the Trump administration's response. You're the, the Secretary of Homeland, of Homeland Security. Yes, sir. You're, you're supposed to keep us safe. And the American people Senator deserve some straight answers on the coronavirus. And Senator, I'm not I getting them from you. I disagree. That's all I have, Madam Chair. The CDC urged Americans to prepare, saying that while the immediate risk was low, the global situation suggested a pandemic was likely. The center's principal deputy director said it wasn't a question of if, but when. San Francisco, despite having no coronavirus cases, declared a local emergency in an effort to raise public awareness of the virus's risk and boost preparedness. Health officials in Nassau County, New York, said on Wednesday they were monitoring 83 people who visited China and may have come in contact with the coronavirus. Governor Andrew Cuomo said that New York has had no confirmed cases yet. No one should be surprised when uh, we have positive cases uh, in New York. Our uh, operating paradigm is always prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Asia reported hundreds of new coronavirus cases on Wednesday, and Brazil confirmed Latin America's first infection. So far, the virus has killed more than 2,700 people, the vast majority in China. The United States has reported 59 cases of the virus.